So today, we're camping on a roundabout in Knowlesley. Right, it's no traffic, let's go. See a tree here. There's a gap in the bush here. Come on, in the bushes. Oh, there we go. Look at this. It all seems to be like um, evergreen on the floor, forget what you call it, ivy. There's a lot of ivy around here. What we're going to do, work our way round and find somewhere decent to camp. Because today, we're in the hammock. Oh, look at this here. This is where we want to be. See a nice gap. A tree over there, a tree there, that looks big enough gap for the DD tarp. So tonight, we're camping with the DD hammock. Going to get out the uh, tree huggers and get this across these two trees here. It took us ages to set up the tarp and hammock, but there you are, that's the only thing with these tarp and hammock jobs it just take forever in a day it's not like being in a tent so what we're going to do now we're going to get the rucksack unloaded and get everything set up as fast as we can before we lose the light this is us guys see the sun going down over there That's the uh, petrol station. It's got a mini Asda on it. There's the junction for the motorway. You can see the car going down there now. Right, got the Trekology chair, so I'm going to set that up. There it goes. got the things there they just stuck on on the tops literally two minute job and you've got comfort and it only weighs 900 grams so when you're camping on roundabouts you can just sit yourself down and enjoy your tea so I know you're thinking what's he eating on the roundabout today well I can tell you I've got chefs at home my no made curry, chicken tikka curry. Brought myself some of the uh, rice, what I can just fry up in the pan. Takes me a second, well, a couple of minutes to be honest. And um, yeah, and then to swill it down, we'll move on and we'll crack ourselves open an Irish stout. I've got my titanium tin with me today so I can cook up my curry in this tin and just preheat it up in here and also in here I've got myself my cup for the brews in the morning so I'm pretty much organised today let's get cooking there we go cooker's on it's going to empty now my curry into the pan this is easy as this is ID. Well, I think the curries are just about done now. I'll just give it another stir and then we can get the rice on.
that's the curry bubbling away and now we're cooking with the urban rats right that's the rice done so what I'm gonna do now is just get it all served up So this is the Urban Rats restaurant, look how good that looks, chicken tikka and rice. Well, that curry was spot on, so I'm just going to clean my stuff up and open myself a drink. Because I'm in jungle and I've still got my shorts on, I brought some walking pants with me. So I'm going to put them on, put my hoodie back on and uh, I can start chilling out then for the night. It's been about a year since I last did a roundabout I think, I'm not sure, 10 months. Uh, was at Stockport on a roundabout there and anyway the exciting stuff doing these roundabouts I can tell you because when you first run onto them you see them on Google and, or you drive past them in your car and you think oh I won't mind camping there well when you get all your camping gear and you just run onto these roundabouts you don't know what you're running into tastes good. Brew dog has done a good job brewing the stout. Right so we're on strawberries and a bit of the old cream as well. Look at that. Come on. You know when you're camping with the urban rats this is what sort of stuff to expect. We are living the dream. Well, the police are busy. We'll have some strawberries and cream. Look at this. This is where it's at. This is a camp. Yeah, bloody dark it's down there, isn't it? Eh? It's pitch black, look at that. Hey, let's go out of the roundabout and have a look in and see what we can see. I'll leave my light on and hopefully see if we can pinpoint it. This head job look, just on the roundabout. <laughs> Hello. Oh, well. Right, so this is the roundabout opposite. Hey, just as the police fans driving up look. We got off her just in time, didn't we? Come on, let's go on here. Let's have a look. So this is the price of fuel in the UK. So we've got here for unleaded, it's one pound forty-three, and uh, for diesel, one forty-four point nine. You can see the Greg sign up there. If you want to pass there and there's even a Starbucks 
So this is the roundabout where we're camping tonight. Got the motorway to the left. Not sure where that goes down there because we're not from round here. This is the roundabout. Right, all we need to do now is get back on the roundabout without being seen off anybody because we don't want anyone knowing we're on there. Up to now, it's all been good. We've had a curry and rice. We've had a beer and we've had strawberries and cream. So anyway, let's get back on here without being seen. Coast is clear now. Oh, we got we got in the bus just in time. Look at all these cars now. Woohoo! early six o'clock in the morning I've got my lift coming over to pick me up so I had to set my alarm anyway let's get up get the kettle on and then we can start packing down and make our way off back over to the petrol station and wait for the lift Oh, what? Wow. Oh, Fresh today. boots on yeah flipping heck that was a quick night oh that's the time anyway That's the kettle on. Just got a text message. And my lift is setting off now. So, yeah, let's start packing this away, yeah? I can hear some voices. Last night, I got quite late on, I think it was about three in the morning, and I heard a group of lads cross over the road here and walk round the roundabout. I'm gonna take down the sleeping bag now, and that'll be the first job of this morning. This is the one Tigris underquilt we didn't use last night. Pack the foil away first. And I'll put the sleeping bag in. Quite a chunky one that to be honest. But I, I use that one when I come out on doing like these kind of cams instead of taking the rab out. 
this was my clothes, so I have uh, got an hat in there and some gloves I didn't use. After pack for all weather in the UK, it was 30 degrees yesterday, and then it's saying it's going to rain this morning, so you can't take no risks. Put that in my electrical bag. All electrics are in this bag. Put the light in, the head torch. These are all my bags for the hammock and the tarp. And my chair. Right, this is ready now. Right. Back on the cappuccinos. Not messing about today. Right, I've put the lid on it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to keep packing down now. Because like I say, I've got my lift on his way over now from Manchester. Right, these are carbon rods. These are what you get for your bug net. So, put them out. So lucky for me, the hammock now has got the sleeve on it, which makes this miles easier. Pull it across. It all packs away nice. Look at that. So all I need to do now is unclip the clip from the tree hugger and then I can pack the hammock away. I just put it in this bag. So now, just fold up the table, what we're using to cook the uh, chicken curry on last night. Curry and rice. Then we had the strawberries and cream. And some beers. Oh yes, what a night. Well that's all, it's just about packed up now, so we're coming to the end of the camp at the roundabout at Nosley Safari Park and anyway, let's get a brewer. Well everything's packed down. My brew's still hot, look, look at the steam pouring off that. Um, put my lid down there, it's going to chill out now. Wait on my lift turning up, so I'm all packed up. All my rubbish and my washing up, I've got in a plastic bag hanging on the tree. I'm going to take that with me, um, flush down the cans of beer what we had last night. I've left no trace anywhere, cleaned everything up, so it is as I come. 
all my stuff's in my bag. We're having a cup of cappuccino. This is the roundabout this morning, look. Got a quick stroll. You can hear all this stuff cracking. Could hear it last night, there was stuff in here last night. Could hear it walking through, crunching down. Anyway, yeah, this is the uh, this is the roundabout. And obviously we was over here. This is where we was. Right guys, that's the end of the camp at Knowsley Safari Park Roundabout. So, until next time, stay safe, stay stealthy, and I'll see you on the next Urban Rats adventure.